it's your get your me here again you're welcome to my channel and my channel i share recipes of how to prepare sweet delicacies and how to do it yourself diy which is an entrepreneur i know it's been so long i posted videos on my channel it wasn't actually my fault you know life of a student i'll be busy with exams busy with school busy with all that and family and all that so please i'm so sorry for not posting videos for a very long time but i can assure you guys that chummy is back for good for you people so please if you're new to my channel you're welcome thanks for stopping by please do subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell down there so that you'll be notified anytime i post a video and please don't forget to like and share my video to everyone around you to encourage me to do more you know to boost my spirit more so if you want to know how to prepare every sweet delicacies please my channel is the best for you and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to prepare banga soup with water leaf you're gonna love it i miss that soup a lot you know i've been so very busy to the extent i forgot about to take care of myself you know all that so that is that for today so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to prepare panga soup with water leaf hope you do enjoy my videos stay tuned and watch to the end yes we are in the kitchen right now and these are the ingredients that i'll be using for preparing banga soup with water leaf and here is my water leaf already parboiled here is my grounded crayfish and bunga here is my fresh fish and fresh meat i'll be parboiling them together here is the salt this is the cubes and this is the pepper the banga is already on fire so without wasting any further reduce so let's just sit and watch this video and you know if you want to learn how to prepare banga soup just stay tuned and watch the video to the end and this is it i've already um, spiced up the meat and fish and i'm parboiling them together so i, I just finished adding my salt my mangi cube and my onions so that i can boil together very well why this is on the fire cooking so i'll be showing you guys how to bring out the palm fruit juice to enable you prepare your banga soup the main ingredients that i'll be using is the banga juice so i'll be showing you guys two ways how to do it if you don't have your mortar you can use your hand to smash it thoroughly or you can use an empty bottle to smash it all through thoroughly so i'll be showing you guys how to do that why this is still on fire boiling so this is the banga I just finished extracting the dirty water that i used to parboil it so this is the banga it's either you use your hand after washing your hand as you can see i've just finished washing mine after washing your hands is either you use your hand to squeeze it smash out the juice from it just like this just hold it and squeeze all together all through to smash out the juice or if you don't want to use your hand or you don't have a mortar to pound it to pound out the juice you can also use an empty bottle like this an empty bottle you place it like this smash it like this all through thoroughly very well to smash out the juice if you don't want your hand to get stained you can use your empty bottle to do that so but i will be using my hands to do it you know i'm an african woman so i like using my hands to do everything that i want i like using my hands so i'll be using my hands today and this is a greek banga as you can see my finger just penetrated inside very easy so i like using agri banga because it has more juice and more oil in it i like using it because i prefer it to agri um, native banga this is agri banga it has more juice and more oil i prefer it to native banga native banga is very strong and it doesn't have more juice and oil like agri banga so if you want to go for any banga to suit your taste you can use Greek that is 
a Greek banger. So I like using a Greek banger instead of native banger because this is a Greek banger. You can see my finger just penetrating inside very easily. And it has more juice and oil than native banger. So I'll be using my hand to smash out the juice from the shaft and see thoroughly like this. As you can see the way I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it all through like this. Very well. Smash it very well. So this is how I'll be doing it till the very end. So you guys should stay tuned. So guys, this is the banga juice. The main ingredients. The reason why they call it banga soup. This is the banga juice. I just finished smashing it out and extracting the juice from the shelf and the seed and this is what I got. So I'll be transferring this into my pot of boiled per boiled meat. So I'll be transferring it, transferring it into my pot of per boiled meat right now. This is it. I'm already transferring it into it slowly. You can see what I'm talking about. How thick reddish and oil it is so we'll be stirring it together and right now i'm just going to cover it and allow it to boil for like three minutes before adding the rest ingredients to it and we are back it's three minutes now so we'll be opening it as you can see, it has already boiled together. You can see how thick it is. You can see how thick it is. That's why I like my banga to be a Greek banga. You see more oil, very thick. And this will take not less than six to eight minutes to get ready. So that is why I like my a Greek banga to native banger so right now i'll be adding the powdered crayfish that is the grounded crayfish and the store i mean the bonga this is the bonga i'll be adding bonga i'll be adding my powdered crayfish to it and i'll be adding my pepper Be adding my powdered pepper I'll be adding my powdered pepper about a tablespoon and half because I like pepper and this pepper is very hot so I'll be adding a little to it So be stirring it together thoroughly very well. Be stirring it together. So I'll be adding little salt. Mind you, when parboiling your meat, always parboil it with little salt so that when adding another salt, when adjusting the taste, so that it will be too salty. So I'll be adding little salt to it. But see, because I don't want my soup to be more to be too salty. So I'll be adding little salt to it and stir, stir very well. So after stirring. I'll be giving it from 6 to 8 or 10 minutes to get ready before we'll be adding our already parboiled and chopped water leaf. Stay tuned. We are back. Well, 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 it's already 7 minutes now and it's time to add our boiled and chopped water leaf. So this is it. We'll be adding it to the soup. Going to spread it out, spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. 
you see how thick my soup is that is the power of a greek banger i so much love that banger so you won't stress yourself in waiting long for it to get thick when using a greek banger you won't waste time in your kitchen because before you know it it's already thick and ready but when using a native banger it's not that thick it's not that oily it's not that you know you know what i mean now so see how thick my soup is i like my soup to be very very thick i love thick soup so this is how we turn it and give it like two more minutes and it is done so if you're new to my channel you're welcome thanks for stopping by so this is the end of today's video if you're new to my channel you're welcome thanks for stopping by please don't forget to subscribe for your baby girl subscribe for me please 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 and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post new videos and also remember to share to your friends and loved ones bye bye